Hello and welcome to this video on rounding to significant figures. Now let's just say you're attending a football match and in the stadium there are 18,347 people and someone asks you, well how many people were there? You would say maybe, I don't know, 18,000. So you're seemingly keeping the first two digits and then just discarding the rest to give less detail in what you're saying to someone. So if we're keeping two of those digits and wiping everything out to get 18,000, we say we're rounding that to two significant figures. And that basically just means we're keeping the first two digits and wiping everything else out. Do you remember that I said with all rounding, whether it's to the nearest hole, the nearest 10, to a certain number of decimal places, you just decide which digit you want to keep up to. So with two significant figures, we decide we keep up to the second digit and then we discard or replace with zero all digits after. Now we can't just wipe them out completely and just write 18, because now that eight digit, rather than being the thousands digit as it was before, would suddenly become the units digit. So we just replace them with zero. We say, we don't want those three hundreds anymore. We're gonna have zero hundreds. We have no hundreds at all, so we've discarded it. And we don't want the four tens, we're just gonna replace it with zero. So we discarded the tens, etc. So discarding can just mean to replace with zero. If I wanted this to four significant figures, and you can write 4SF for short, well, we check up to the fourth digit, we keep up to the fourth digit, and then, as before with rounding, we check the digit after. Is it great equal to five? Yes, it is. So that four goes up to five. So we have one, eight, three, five, and then we discard or replace with zero all digits after. So that units digit, we're getting rid of the units, so we need to put zero units. So let's do these examples here. I want us to round the following to one significant figure, two significant figures, three significant figures, and four significant figures. So we first got two, three, six, seven, four. I want it first to one significant figure. Well, we only keep up to the first digit, the two. So we check the next digit just after that, as before. Is it great equal to five? No, it isn't. So the two stays as it is, and everything else gets wiped out. We just replace it with zeros. What about just two significant figures? We keep up to the second digit, check the next digit after. Is it great equal to five? Yes, it is. So the three goes up to four. What about to three significant figures? We go up to here, we check the next digit. Is it great equal to five? Yes, it is, so that six goes up to seven. So two, three, seven, everything else gets replaced with zero. And four significant figures, we go up to the seven. Now that four is not greater than five, so that seven stays as it is. So we get two, three, six, seven, zero. What about the next one? So we got 14.836 to one significant figure. We just keep the first digit, the one, the tens digit, and then we check the next digit. Is it greater than equal to five? No, it isn't. So therefore that one stays as it is, and then everything else after gets wiped out. Now, if we've got anything after the decimal point and we've wiped it out, we don't write it. So it's just going to be 10. We don't write 10.000. What about two significant figures? We keep up to the second digit, check the next digit. Is it greater or equal to five? Yes, it is. So that goes up to five. So it's one, five. And again, because we're wiping out the digits after, we just don't write them if they're after the decimal point. What about three significant figures? So one, two, three, we keep everything up to the third digit. And this is effectively now um, rounding a number to one decimal place. We know that would be 14.8. We can see that three is not greater equal to five. And what about four significant figures? We go up to this digit. This is effectively the same as rounding to two decimal places. So we check up to here, the digit after, is that greater equal to five? Yes, it is, so that three goes up to four, and we get 14.84. What about the third one? We've got 0 0.0040392 to one significant figure. Now, this is where you have to be careful. We only start counting from the first non-zero digit. So in this case, the first non-zero digit is four. And the reason for that is that if we were rounding, say, I don't know, four, seven, five, to two significant figures, but effectively there are a bunch of zeros on the front that we just don't write because we know that the thousands digit is zero, the ten thousands digit is zero, etc. But we still start counting from the first non-zero di digit, so we'd start counting from the four. So it's the same here. Everything here is zero, so we start counting from the four. 
So we look at the next digit, is that greater or equal to 5? No, it isn't, so that 4 stays as 4. So it's 0 0.004. We obviously need the zeros before, because if we just, just wrote 4, then suddenly that 4 has become a units digit. It's no longer the thousandths digit. What about two significant figures? We check up to the next one. We look at the next digit. Is it greater or equal to 5? No, it isn't. So the 0 stays as 0, so it's 0 0.0040. And you absolutely do need that 0 because you're keeping two digits, two digits starting from the 4. What about three significant figures? Got 0. Point, now we keep up to the 3. Check the next digit. Is it greater or equal to 5? Yes, it is. So the 3 goes up to 4. So it's 0 0.00404. And then four significant figures, we go up to seven. Because that's greater to five, that seven goes up to eight. So it's 0 0.004038. And what about this last one? We've got 0 0.09984623. And we want it to one significant figure. So we start counting from the first non-zero digit, which is the nine. Then we look at the next digit. Is that greater or equal to 5? Yes, it is. So that has got increased by 1. But uh-oh, we've got an overflow now. So that 9 goes up to 10, and we have to put the 1 here. So it's going to be 0 0.1. And note, by the way, we don't put a 0 here anymore, because if it's to one significant figure, we only keep one digit, excluding any zeros at the front. So it'd be 0 0.1. What about two significant figures? We'll be keeping up to here. We check the next digit. Is it greater or equal to 5? Yes, it is. So that goes up. Now, if that goes up to 10, that overflows onto here. And because that goes up to 10, we overflow to here. So it's going to be 0 0.10. And again, because it's two significant figures, we want two digits starting from the first significant digit, i.e. excluding any zeros on the front. What about three significant figures? Now this one's a bit easier, we're going up to here. That next digit is not greater than 5, so it's 0 0.0998. And then to four significant figures, we go up to here. That digit is greater than 5, so that four goes up to 5. So it's 0 0.09985.